Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the continuation of the last video that is the efficacy test conducted on the skin that is the in vivo test also called as biophysical methods or, or quantitative methods. Although visual grading is still widely used to access the skin hydration, a wide range of biophysical methods claim to measure skin hydration, most of which use the skin's electrical properties to infer the hydration level. Example of such devices are the Coniometer, SkinCon, Dermalab, Combo, Nova, DPMTM and Moisturemeter. So, Coniometer is the world's most famous skin hydration measurement instrument. So, what is the definition of Coniometer? It is a reproducibly and accurately determined hydration level of the skin surface that is the stratum conium via measurement of skin dielectric properties. The accuracy of other hydration measurement instruments on the market is always assessed against the standard of the coniometer. So coniometer considered as the standard for other skin hydration measurement instruments available in the market. So what are the advantages of it? There are some different advantages that differ coniometer from other skin hydration instruments that is the handling level and all other advantages. The probe allows very quick measurement that is one second important to avoid occlusion. Continuous measurements over a longer period can optimally be performed. Substances on the skin such as salts or residues of topical applied products have only minimal influence due to the capacitance measurement. So what is the actual hydration level of the skin can be determined by this instrument. The measurement of depth is very small that is 10 to 20 microns of the stratum conium to exclude the influence of deeper skin layers that is the, from the blood vessels to influence in the measurement of the hydration level. The probe is small and lightweight for easy handling and measurement on all body sides. That is, it can be measured on lips also. The spring in the probe head ensures constant pressure on the skin enabling exact reproducible measurements. The accuracy of the coniometer probe and the penetration depth of the scatter field can be checked easily anytime. The probe head can quickly be cleaned after each measurement. Worldwide established as coniometry with a broad range of studies. There are so many research papers published with, while using the coniometer as a standard instrument for the measurement of the skin hydration. So the coniometer had been used to determine the state of the skin of the astronauts on board of the International Space Station. Then what is the measurement principle of it? That how it works? Measurement is based on the capacitance measurement of a dielectric medium. Dielectric di medium here is the stratum conium. With increasing hydration, its dielectric properties changes. So the measurement is based on the fact that water has a higher electrical constant, that is 81, than most other substances, which is less than 7. The corneometer measures the change in the electrical constant due to skin surface hydration by capacitance differences of a precision capacitor. What are the fields of application? The hydration measurement is the basic measurement for all biomedical and cosmetic applications. So it is ideal for the formulation, claim support and efficacy and safety testing of all cosmetics and skin care products. That is the personal care, irritation research, soaps and cleansers, occlusive pro product development, raw materials, pharmaceuticals, household products, detergents, food and food supplements and many more. Typical claims or examples substantiate with the corneometer that is the hydrating, moisturizing against dry skin for sensitive skin, protecting, restoring, repairing, supports, healing, soothing, normalizing, vitalizing and many more. Used as standard in dermatological basis research in humans and animals. Occupational health assess this parameter to underline the importance of skin protection measures. So, corneometer is a very important instrument in the derm dermatological and cosmetic field. So, it is mainly the biophysical method for the determination of the hydration. 
which doesn't involve any animal testing so it can be replaced with the animal testing and direct human volunteers can be used for the assessment of skin hydration level of a particular product so that's it for today i hope you have understand this topic if you have any query please comment down below and subscribe the channel thank you for watching